everybody, welcome to another episode of Retail Therapy. Today we're going to be configuring the Lowrance Elite TI-2-9. <clears throat> this is the uh, fish finder that I mentioned was on sale. This is a $1,000 fish finder. And it was on sale for 600 bucks <laughs> at Bass Pro Shop. So, this is going to be my first... I'm setting it up for the first time with you. So it's gonna be a new experience for the both of us. First thing you should know when you get this fish finder is if um, let me see here. So it needs an extra ground. So you see how I'm touching the screen, nothing's happening. So Typically people set up this fish finders while it's not in the boat. And when it's in the boat, you have that extra ground because your uh, transducer is hooked up to the boat. So I have the transducer here. I actually plugged it in, but I'm still not getting that extra ground. So I'm pretty sure if I take this stuff off the trim, this is a weird. Take the transducer out, but I don't have it tied into the mount. So typically, the transducer is to the mount, and that gives you your extra ground. Since I don't have it hooked up to the mount, I'm not getting any extra ground. So here's how you get the extra ground: top where you touch screen, you put your finger on the ground where the battery is, and then the touch screen works. <laughs> okay, so that's how you get it to work when you're at home trying to figure out how to operate it. Gonna exit retail mode. Stop the demo. Just to show you a few things. Because you're gonna need to know this. Okay, so when you first open it, you're gonna have getting started. I don't wanna do any of this stuff now. Um, so the GPS is hooked up. It is drawing nothing because it can't see anything. So what you do is you hit the home button and then you go to settings. Oops. And then you scroll up, you go to simulator, turn on retail mode, save it, and it'll start demo. So once you start demo, go into the retail mode, you'll get all the data you need to configure it. <clears throat> so it goes into retail mode and you can see all this stuff right here. So I am now going to first configure the sonar. So here's the sonar, uh, looks pretty good. A lot of the times when you buy a fish finder, oh, you guys probably can't see this. Let me lower this a little bit. There you go. Now you can see it. So when you get a fish finder, the settings are already pretty good. I mean, the, these are your default settings. It looks good. The colors are good. But obviously, you need to go and check out some of the options. So it's got noise rejection set to low. So if I go high, you're going to see less noise, you know? So you got your settings there. Surface clarity is set to low. Again, you got low, medium, high. I'm just gonna leave that to default. I like the scroll speed. Ping speed is how fast it sends out the signal. 
I hear that if your ping speed is high, that it bothers the fish. Um, but I can't confirm any of that. Uh, so, and I actually don't know. I think the higher the ping speed, the better returns you get. But I, you know, I haven't really practiced that on the water, so I'm just gonna leave that the way it is. Um, okay, so let's go back. Oh, what's this manual mode? I don't know what that is. I'll need a book for that. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, there's more options here. Uh, stop sonar split. You can change your color palette. So you know, different color fish if you want darker background and for sonar I prefer the lighter backgrounds just for sonar but the whole idea with this fish finder is that I won't really need to be concerned too much with that and I'll show you that in a minute because this fish finder has great features I'm just going through all the different colors here so I'm gonna go back to one I like that you know your standard your standard image. So let's go back. Uh, overlay down scan. So when you overlay down scan, when you turn that on, this is what's cool about this is the down scan. Oops. You can overlay the down scan on top of your sonar. A lot of times when people see stuff like this, it looks like a bunch of fish stacked on top of each other, but it's actually a tree or a brush pile, you know? I mean, if you don't have a trained eye with fish finder, you don't know that. When you turn the down scan image on, it gives you a better idea of what is actually structure and what is actually fish, okay? I'm gonna turn that off for now. Um, temp graph I don't know what that is that's just the temperature I think the temp graph shows you the temperature at different at different depths but I could be wrong I'll have to mess with that on the water because right now it's telling me my water temp is 69.4 so I'm not sure what that is and obviously everybody knows what a depth line is depth line shows you your draws a hard line where the surface is a scope as you see fish on the fish finder you can see this light up here I never use that um, fish ID when you turn fish ID on turns all your fish into symbols if you don't know what fish look like on a fish finder you can turn the fish ID on uh, I never use that because it just adds more clutter you can turn the depths of the fish on. You can have both. I don't use that. So I'm liking this. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the menu and I'm just gonna switch over to down scan. So down scan, if you just go into down scan mode, you see the down scan image and you can see it's kind of a turquoise and stuff. Fish are automatically painted as sonar arcs and they're bright yellow just like the other mode when you turn down scan overlay on now we're in down scan mode there is no sonar it's just the down scan and the fish uh they call it fish reveal so you typically use down scan to look for structure and see structure it helps you it helps you get a, a photorealistic view of the structure so you turn this on so you're looking at structure and you turn sonar on at the same time in this mode so now especially when you have a small screen this is only nine inches you don't have to have sonar on one screen and down scan on another you don't have to split them up you throw them all on the same screen so now you can easily see what structure you can easily see what's grass and what's a fish and when you're on a kayak, which is what this is going to be used for, that's that's an important thing. You know, you don't want to be messing around with your fish finder while you're out there. You want to get your settings set. 
I like these settings the way it is. I could probably go through and adjust the contrast a little bit, you know, but you know, you see when I'm adjusting the contrast, it's, it's okay. It's, it's actually better when it's higher. So you see when I go up and put more contrast in, you can see those trees, that, that's automatic. So you can bring it down if it's too bright, if it's too harsh, but just looking at those trees, wow, I can see the separation between the trees and the fish. So I don't mind auto contrast. Um, they have a palette for this too. I can go for monochrome, red, you know, all different colors, but you know, I can make it look like a, a ray marine, not a ray marine, but a uh, hummingbird, you know, but I actually prefer that first turquoise. I think that's a pretty color. So I'm gonna stick with that. There's advanced options in here. So surface clarity, you know, you can go with high, medium, or low, obviously when you go with high, it clears up the surface some more. So I'm gonna leave that. Then it has fish reveal options. So here is where you tweak what your fish reveal looks like. So sensitivity, you can change the sensitivity of the fish reveal. Obviously when you go super low, you can't see any fish, except what downscan gives you. So typically in downscan, you get little blips for a fish and it just looks like a little dot well with this you know you can adjust your, your sensitivity and the more you go up on that the more you see an arc okay and then color line don't know what the oh, so the color line is basically the definition of the arc so on a fish finder uh, depending on the color uh, the more pronounced the color, the more likely it's a fish. So in this case, bright yellow is telling us it's a fish, but you can adjust that. So if you only want to see the big targets, you can lower it a little bit. So only the big targets, the more defined targets are coming in as yellow. So that's what I did there. Some of the smaller ones are pink, but the really good targets have yellow on them. So that's what that adjustment's for. And again, you have the palette there. I'm gonna leave it at that color and the surface clarity, you know, high, medium, low, like before, but, okay. Um, let's see. You can turn off the sonar all together. You can stop the sonar. You can turn off the fish reveal. We want that because that's cool. So we're gonna leave that. Now we're gonna go in and look at the side scan. Side scan is gorgeous. Great resolution. Um, I like the color palette. It's the same as my, my down scan. You can adjust your range here and your frequency here. So you can go with a low frequency and you're gonna get less detail. But that's not why we bought this thing. We wanna go with a higher frequency so we can get more detail. Um, and I guess when you do down scan, uh, you know, the frequencies change, the, the size of the cone changes. So it really depends on what you're doing. And you can adjust the range here, you know, 200 feet, 60 feet, obviously the smaller range, you're gonna see more detail, you know, but you could see these underwater brush piles or trees and you could see their shadows and you get all kinds of detail in here. It's really cool. And you can change the color palette, but I'm not gonna change that. Again, surface clarity, you know, if you want, I like it high flip the left and right, which I'm not going to do. And you can stop the sonar, you can change your view so it's left only or right only if you're flipping, you know, 
you go left and right when you're deep, deeper and you want to see everything around your boat. Boom. Okay. So there's other stuff here like the charting, which I haven't really got into yet. Uh, breaks me out in Oklahoma City because I'm not, you got to wait for it, see if it picks up the GPS. But um, by default, it's using CMAPs. So uh, I don't know if I'm going to switch over to uh, Navionics or not. Uh, so you can see here the charge source is CMAPs. When you switch to Navionics, you get a completely different map. I'm hearing that the CMAPs are really good. So I might give them a try. I do have a subscription in avionics but you know I'm cool with that since I'm on a kayak I won't really need the navigation as much I'm not motorized I'm gonna be doing pedaling uh, you know I'm not gonna be traveling that far so I, I don't I won't be using the navigation as much this is more for pre-fishing and scouting areas and Finding fish because you know you don't have you don't, you don't have the speed that you do in a regular boat. So whatever area you are fishing, you want to locate those fish. So um, there's all kinds of other options, but that's the basic configuration. You can see that it comes with a pretty sweet configuration out of the box. So you're only going to make small tweaks, you know, uh, to get it to where you like it. But uh, I'm pretty happy about this, especially I'm especially happy with the price. So uh, you can't beat that. I don't know if there's any other configuration screens here, but you know this is what some of the split screens look like, which is pretty cool. Uh, you could also hook this up wirelessly to another unit. You don't need wires. Uh, you can hook it up to your cell phone. You can get your text messages on it, which is great if you're on a kayak. You can get text messages right on your screen. There's just all kinds of cool things you can do with this, but this is just the basic setup for the Lowrance Elite TI2, uh, TI9. Uh, or TI29. I don't know where they get these. I think the 9, nine is the screen size and TI2 is the second generation. I think. So it's 9 TI2. But these were $600 on sale. I think they're back up to $1,000 now. But uh, it's a pretty damn good fish finder, especially for a kayak. I uh, will see you guys on the next Retail Therapy. Thanks for listening.